Now, Way 31 Storm Tracker Meteorologist Amber Kulik with 31 Triple Doppler. Cold out there, but you said not as cold as yesterday. Not I, as cold. It takes, a, it takes an attuned person to really tell the difference. <laughs> Well, I didn't have frost on my windshield this morning, so that that's kind of what I'm basing it off of. <laughs> so, a little warmer this morning, but I am tracking right. those storms for the weekend. So let's dive into this forecast because we got a lot to talk about this morning. Here's a look at our Way 31 SkyCam network this morning. We're off to a good start. And like I said, I didn't have any frost on my windshield this morning, so you can tell it's a little warmer than what we were dealing with yesterday at this time. But temperatures are still on the cool side, so you're going to need that coat as you walk out the door. We're looking at 42 right now in Huntsville. It's 36 in Decatur and Coleman at this hour, 40 over in Muscle Shoals and Athens. But these temperatures will warm throughout the day. And something else to keep in mind throughout the day is wind gusts will be pretty breezy. Nothing compared to what we're going to see over the weekend. But if you have any outdoor plans, it's going to be a little breezy out there this afternoon. Now, speaking of this afternoon, temperatures will warm nicely back into the 60s for our high. 64 for your high in Huntsville, 62 in Gunnersville, 65 in Decatur and Moulton this afternoon. So nice and comfortable. Get out and take advantage of it while you can because we are going to see rain over the weekend. But 31 triple Doppler right now, quiet and dry. We'll stay that way through the daytime hours today. But then overnight tonight, changes will start to come our way. So I want to zoom this view out a little bit here to show you what we have going on across the southeast. So far, so good. Now this cloud cover to our west will start to move in through the daytime hours today. And then as we head into the weekend, so make sure to pay attention out to our west. That's where we'll start to see showers and thunderstorms develop as we head through the day on Saturday. We could also see some ongoing showers across our area for the first half of Saturday as well. Heading into the evening hours tomorrow, we'll start to see a line develop to our west, and that's going to race through the Tennessee Valley as we head into the evening and the overnight hours tomorrow. So let's go ahead and break this down for you. Yesterday, we were showing that level one risk. Well, this is the latest update from the Storm Prediction Center. We now have a level two risk for places like Athens, Muscle Shoals, Moulton, and Haleyville as we move through the evening hours tomorrow. And we have that level one risk for the rest of the Tennessee Valley. So again, make sure that you are paying attention to the forecast because this has changed over the past couple of days and we'll continue to bring the, you the latest through the day today and of course through the day tomorrow as well. So here's a closer view of what we can expect for the rest of the afternoon hours today. We'll deal with the cloud cover, but we will stay dry. So any Christmas parade that you may be going to this afternoon trying to get some Christmas shopping done, we look pretty good. But as we head into the overnight hours tonight, we'll start to see that chance of a few showers and a few thunderstorms, but we're not expecting severe weather with this first go around. As we move into the early morning hours tomorrow, few more showers, few more thunderstorms will be possible across the Tennessee Valley. But the main event waits to move in during the evening hours tomorrow. This is at midnight. Now again, this line could be a little farther to the east or a little farther to the west at this time. The models don't do a too good of a job showing us exactly where it'll be, but they do a great job at showing us what will happen. So make sure that you're paying attention as we move into tomorrow. Greatest threats to watch though will be heavy wind, heavy rain and some gusty winds as this moves through. So I want to give you a little timeline out in the shoal 6 to 9 p.m. tomorrow, 9 p.m. to midnight for the metro area. And if you are in the Sand Mountain region anywhere from midnight to 3 a.m. Make sure you have multiple ways of getting watches and warnings through the night tomorrow. After that, though, we really cool off as we head into your Sunday and your Monday. We are back into the 40s for your afternoon highs. But again, all eyes right now are on tomorrow. So have multiple ways of getting watches and warnings. Yes. Download that Way 31 Storm Tracker weather app because it's going to come in it's handy. It's a lifesaver. It is. It really it is. It really is. All right, Amber, thank you.